My not so nice voice. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you a new product that will turn your car into a standalone Android computer and this is the device. This is called the Picasso and it's actually very simple to install and it works basically just like an Android. So there's a condition, your car needs to have a CarPlay uh, or Android Auto. Uh, the functionality installed. Now, my car has aftermarket CarPlay, as you might have seen from my previous videos, so uh, that won't be a problem. But this little device, that's what it is, the Picasso. So what you have to do is just plug it in. It also has a USB port. That's literally for, uh, yeah, putting stuff on it. Um, you can put a USB drive in with some files or an app or whatever. Uh, for most of the cars that have uh, integrated CarPlay, you can just put this in the USB port. But for me, it's a bit different because I have aftermarket CarPlay. You just have to put this in. That is where my USB port is. It just closed like that. We're gonna turn the car on. All right. Then um, for most cars that have integrated CarPlay, you can just have a button in your menu. Uh, that says CarPlay. For me, it works a bit differently. So there you go. Um, I just plugged it in through USB, and um, yeah, just opened up the uh, the CarPlay or Android Auto function on my car, and this is what you get. It's a standalone uh, Android computer. So the difference with this and Android Auto or CarPlay is that uh, with Android Auto, uh, your phone is the brain, and the screen is basically only for viewing. Now with this, uh, with this device, the Picasso that sits in your glove compartment is the brain and your phone doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, yes, you do have to have some sort of a hotspot on. So I'm gonna put that on and it's actually pretty simple because if you would just turn it on, the device over here, settings and it's already uh, has been connected so that's good so what what does this do uh, now you can obviously connect your phone um, and this has much more um, freedom when compared to the regular Android Auto Android Auto only has a small amount of apps that uh, that work for it this is basically an Android phone a full phone which um, yeah, you get to do, you can uh, watch movies, you can uh, even watch Netflix. I don't have my account on here, but uh, yeah, you can have maps. For example, maps, let's try it out. It already depends on how fast your phone is. My phone is not really the fastest, but I mean, in terms of uh, internet connection, I just put in some uh, in Utrecht. And it just does your location, start. And as you can see, it's pretty much like it is exactly on your phone. And there you go, navigation works. And it all does the audio through your existing car uh, audio system just as your CarPlay or Android Auto would do. It's the same way with this. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cancel that. And just with Android, you have home, voice, or back. Now we're gonna go to home. And um, yeah, if you go to car, it will go back to your car menu. USB drive, that's what I just uh, told you. You can put a USB in. It's for updating the unit, but it's also plug in a keyboard if you want um, yeah so we, you can pretty much just uh, act like it's a computer so uh, with phone it just grabs my phone you can go to contact grab a letter yeah it really doesn't matter just uh, and then you can just pick your list or go back uh, Google Play Store which is pretty interesting 
you can uh, yeah you can just install any app I'm gonna find something just like on your phone let's see if I can download this or yeah hotspots tend to be pretty slow in terms of internet connection but uh, yeah you just log in the same way you would do um, yeah with your Android it's downloading 9% 10% so uh, yeah let's see if we can just uh, keep that going for a while and then if you have more apps if you have uh, installed any apps they will appear here oh phone cast is pretty interesting um, now since my phone acts as the hotspot I cannot do it with this phone but if you have a passenger and you want to cast something a video you can just connect to the same network which is this hotspot and you can cast so that is uh, that is pretty nice screen mirroring and then um, my favorite obviously YouTube I've logged in with my account already so let's just load up for a bit it might take a bit more time because it's downloading my channel videos my not so nice voice <laughs> but yeah you can just watch YouTube on here in seconds 100 to 200 and the audio goes through the speakers that's very nice so oh I don't want to get a strike I didn't know why it wasn't working earlier but uh, the music is working but yeah just streaming from uh, from my phone and uh, this works I'm gonna every part of audio that was in there. I'm gonna mute it because I don't want to get striked for that. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, the audio is pretty basic, but uh, you get uh, you get the point. Let's check it out. Let's see if it's done. Okay, I just skipped this part because it was downloading. Download is done, so we're gonna open it. Getting started. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. Just this is because it's the first start. Continue without an account. Yes. Okay, that does work. That is great. Now let's see where it's located. It's not here, but it's in the more apps. Yes, here it is, Flitzmeister. And also, oh, no, that was the wrong button. What's nice is that if you hold this, you can actually move it to the home screen. So you can have your favorite apps on the home screen and the ones you don't use, you can uh, put it under this more app button so why would you want this instead of android auto because um with android auto it's pretty limited to what it can do whereas this is uh, you can put on a keyboard if you want to watch movies you can and or if you want to go on the internet uh you can even if you want to you can put an internet browser on this. Let's just check for Chrome. Yeah, right here. You can just put an internet browser on, on here. It's just uh, so much more freedom you have with this kit. I can understand if you, it's not, it's very compact. It's very small. It's not the fastest of kits, but it uh, does, uh, yeah, what it's, uh, uh, claiming to do if you have a very fast brand new Android phone and you can run Android Auto very fast and it does everything you want this might not be the best upgrade for you 
but if you have a slow Android phone, I know that with my phone and Android Auto, this is my work phone, I have Android Auto, I use it, but it's it's very laggy. It works, but um, yeah, what make, makes CarPlay so good is that it works all the time, whereas Android Auto with my phone, it, it just doesn't work that well. And with this, this is a standalone system and it's connected by cable. So um, yeah, you just put this in the glove box like I did before, close it and you're done. And that makes it very nice, especially if you're going on a trip, for example, you just wanna watch YouTube, Netflix, Obviously, you don't want, want to watch too much when driving, but for your passenger, it can be very, uh, very nice. So, um, but yeah, I think you uh, you get the point. If you want to get out of here, you can uh, press the car button just in this car, for example, you go back to your regular car menu um, very easily. So yeah, guys, what do you think of that? The, uh, the Picasso, if you have any interesting interest in this product go to www.motrade.nl link is in the description don't forget to use my discount code for a five percent discount of the product and um yeah i'll see you around um leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this product uh i would love to answer them there's obviously much more you can do with this kit than i have demonstrated here but um but yeah you get the point if you have questions, ask them and uh, I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Stay tuned and thanks.